The topic of today's video is do sets need expensive chase cards to be successful? And you guys can see we have evolutions up. We're going to use this as an example. We're going to use other examples. Don't worry. This is not the only example. I do realize that evolutions is kind of its own unique beast, but I just wanted to use this as the first example. We got other sets. So calm down, calm down. Don't, don't get mad at me yet, but we're going to start off with evolutions. And the reason I'm talking about this is from an investing standpoint, does the set need to be good or does it even need to have good chase cards? That's what we're talking about. And we're also going to take a look at some singles while we're here uh, because I do like evolutions. So evolutions right here, eight, over $800 box. Okay. You can see 874 last set, last sold. And this is on TCG player. These, this set, if you are not familiar, if you're not around in 2016, when evolutions came out, this set was so printed into the ground. So many people said, and it made sense like at the time that these were never going to be worth anything. And look where they're at now. And when you look at the set, which we'll pull up right here, does it have a chase card? Does it have an expensive chase card? Does it have a Greninja? Does it have a Moonbreon? Does it have a Giratina? This didn't even used to be the top chase card. Um, this one was. But $46, $41, and then it falls off. 20 20 17 and then we're down sub 10 like a few cards in. So my point being with this is... For investability, the set, while I do, obviously, Evolutions is a good set. I love it. But it doesn't need heavy chase cards to be investable. We're going to take a look at some of the singles here real quick, and then we're going to get into some other sets just to kind of talk about. But, yeah, so, obviously, the reason for this, I'm not saying that every box is going to go to $800, but the reason for this one, in part of its anomalies, you get the Charizard. Cheapest way to try and pull that uh, base set Charizard, um, besides like celebrations now. But it's it's the you know it's the rarity of it. Eventually, given enough time, this is what can happen. And we're gonna get to some other boxes, so don't worry, don't worry, we're getting there. But let's just take a look at some of the singles. I just want to show you what's going on. So the Mega Charizard in the on the one year chart, it's up thirty percent. It's a cool looking card. It's, it's, a, it's starting to look a little um, dated compared to some of the new artworks and stuff, but um, cool card up 30%. We got the the OG artwork here on the Charizard. Down 10%. Um, in the last month, though, it is up 8.6%, so a little bit on the uptick. This was sub $40. And this card goes for a lot in a 10, if you're not familiar. I think it's like a, at least a grand, $1,000. In a PSA 10, it is hard to grade. The print quality, not very good. Off-center, scratches, whitening. You guys know the usual. And then we have another Mega Charizard. Um, Three-month chart up 10%. One month, only up 1%. Let's see what it's doing on the year. On the year, it's actually down. This is this is a pretty cool card. I do like this one a lot, too. Looks good. We got the Mega Blastoise. On the three-month, it's down 18%. Uh, one month it's still this card is on its way down except on the one year overall you could have picked this up at one point for $13 and now it is at in the 20s so there is a lot of attention a lot of people are predicting that these um, it's supposed to be mega evolutions coming to the next Pokemon game next year some people are kind of predicting that these cards are going to go up in value that is yet to be seen you got the Blastoise um, it is up quite a bit in the last one year 61% Got the Mewtwo, uh, 14% on the three month, 15% on the one year chart. Really cool card, by the way. Um, affordable in a PSA 10, pretty cheap right now. Let's see what the last solds were. 12, 14, okay, yeah. Cool card though, I like this one. You got Missy's Determination. Uh, it's down a little bit on the three month and on the one year, down 8%. The Dragonite, uh, I like the the coloring on this it's like kind of it's got the gold thing going on i like dragonite kind of up there one of my favorite pokemon up 16 percent on the one year got mega blastoise again right here down 15 percent but up 44 percent on the one year we got this charizard i really like um this artwork a lot it's just cool down 13 percent but up 4.39 percent on the one year um sorry i just wanted to um i just wanted to give some of these cards 
just a little bit of their props, and then I'm going to get into the other sets. Don't worry. Up 5% on the three month for Pidgeot, Mega Pidgeot, and it's up almost 20% on the one year. Got another Mega Venusaur. So you guys can kind of see some are up, some are down. This one's up 26% on the last year. So a lot of these cards uh, moving. Here's a, we'll show you another set where I'm mainly looking at XY uh, era. And just because it gives us enough time for these boxes to really like mature. So that's kind of why I'm using these as an example. Obviously, there are some things to consider, like the interest, how many people were in at the time, print runs. Those are, you know, all you guys, you guys have to understand that. But um, t there is no, can't get the uh, sale history right here, but they're listed at 1,000. So I pulled up eBay. You got last sold 1,100, 1,100 per box. Now, Furious Fists, okay? Does that have any expensive cards? Mm, it's got a Lucario, 68. Another Lucario at 40, Dragonite at 34, 29, 18, and that kind of falls off, right? And then right, right here at, at the Seismitoad, you're at sub $10. So, once again, the point here being is that you don't have to have the Moonbrion, the Giratina, um, this crazy expensive chase card per se for the box to be valuable. That's kind of the whole point of this video and I wanted to give Evolutions a little little shout out. We'll take another look at another XY era box, Steam Siege. Now, this is a lot, maybe a lot better example because you can see uh, the price, right? So we are at just under $400. We'll pull up the last solds. We had one actually at 430 and then 399.99. So call it $400. Now, same thing. So it's a cool older set, right? What what's the <coughs> what's the chase card? Excuse me. Gardevoir, thirty one dollars. Mega Gardevoir, thirteen. Look how look how quickly this falls off. Thirteen, thirteen, ten, eight. It's um, they have these break cards. I actually kind of like these break cards. I do think that they're I think that they're unique and they're kind of cool. I like I like the style. Uh, they didn't really catch on unfortunately, but I think that they're cool looking. So weaker set, I would say. You got I mean Gardevoir is a popular Pokemon. I don't think Volcanion's very popular. Um, Steelix, yeah, little he's popular enough. Not gonna carry a set though. Steelix and Gardevoir being your chases in Volcanion. Um, so yeah, let's go. Let's see. Let's see what, if there's anything on page two. I know the cards are already pretty cheap over here. Yeah, okay. So nothing, nothing really. Okay. So to summarize, I'm gonna, I might just talk for a little bit here, so bear with me. Um, when investing in Pokemon cards, mainly talking about uh, sealed booster boxes, you, the, the most important thing at the end of the day is time, time in the market. How long have you been holding these boxes? If, uh, if we're, if you're talking 10 plus years, these boxes are going to do well. The worst box that we were looking at here was what was the steam siege box? Uh, just 400. Okay. So, and that set didn't look very strong. Didn't look strong to me. Had sales on TCG player. So you have to understand, and I do understand this, and that's it's not the same. The print runs are different now. We understand this, right? Products are being printed more. There's more people. But what you have to understand at the end of the day is most people, most of you guys watching this, the vast majority will not hold your boxes 10 years. That's just the truth. And... That's okay, but that's what I'm saying is these boxes are being ripped. There's more people than ever before ripping these boxes. So in 10 years, a lot can happen. If you have the strength to keep those boxes in your closet or wherever and keep them sealed, you could do, you could do really well long-term and you don't necessarily have to have picked the best sets. 
obviously you'd like to, we all would have liked to have spent, put all of our money into Evolving Skies when it first launched. But most of us are not sitting on cases and cases and cases of Evolving Skies. Most of us are not sitting on cases and cases and cases of evolutions. It It's just the truth. But what you can do and what what I have tried to do is divert most of my attention and assets. Moving forward, getting these um, Scarlet and Violet era boxes. I'm going to get them regardless of if I think the set is good or not. Because I'm going to give it enough time. right? I'm in it for the long haul. That's, that's my approach. And... The, you know, something else that you guys have to, you have to think about those cards that we just looked at. I want you to go back and think about every single one we just touched on, right? Um, cool cards, all cool cards, right? Not trying to take them down or anything, but the artwork on the cards is nothing, absolutely nothing like what we are getting currently. The Scarlet and Violet era and Sword and Shield was amazing. I love Sword and Shield. Scarlet and Violet is hands down the best artwork we've ever gotten by a mile. This is just, it's making the older Pokemon cards not look good, right? There's obviously exceptions, okay? But this era, this era, whether you like the Pokemon or not, this era is going to do well. And you guys can skip the sets if you want. You can skip Stellar Crown. You know, I, I don't care what you guys do. I'm just telling you guys my approach and my perspective if you guys so you guys can use that and do what you want with it but i'm a little bit rambling here but if you hold these boxes long enough they will do well there's not enough people that are going to be doing it long term okay pokemon is the number one franchise grossing franchise of anything of all time ever okay these boxes also it's a little bit random i'm get, you're just gonna have to bear with me these boxes are not going to go to zero okay they're not. Do you guys understand what going to zero means? Uh, let's say um, we use an example of evolving skies, right? Oh, um, Pokemon's tanking, which, you know, it could tank, but going to zero is a completely different thing. Um, evolving skies, you're telling me that if evolving skies boxes drop to back down to under MSRP, you wouldn't be buying them? I would. I'm going to be buying them, <laughs> right? So um, not, it's not going to go to zero. Unless the, like, the world ends, right? If the world ends, it could go to zero uh, because money is not anything. So I guess technically it could go to zero if the world ends. But assuming that the world is going to keep on keeping on, I don't think you guys really have to worry about that from an investing standpoint. I know that's not what this video is about. This video is about you don't have to put so much pressure on yourself. Invest how you want. And try to get just try to get booster boxes when possible. They're going to do the best long term and you don't always have to be getting the best sets that they're these boxes are going to do good just give it just give it some time okay and yeah i'm getting a little bit a little bit ranty but i think that's going to do it for this one guys i hope i got my point across um if you're this far in the video and you're not already subscribed obviously you enjoyed the content enough to watch me ramble for 13 minutes so do yourself a favor and hit the subscribe button so you guys can stay up to date on when I post my latest videos. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, yeah, you don't need, you don't, it does, a set doesn't need a crazy chase card to be investable. That's the summary of this video. Just, you have to have enough time in the market. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.